having mm -hmm. radius in my cheeks and in my jawline. Now I've had it done before and the results were amazing. First time I've had it done, it was over a year or so ago, maybe two years, and um, I decided to get it done again because uh, the results were so, it turned out so well. That's what's amazing about it because you can get it done, the results are instant, and you can go right back to work after, afterwards. I've been wanting a more angular, masculine jawbone. Yeah, so. that's perfect. So let me take a look and see. Um, for, the, for the neurotoxins, either Botox, Dysport, Xeomin, they're all the same. Go ahead and lift your forehead for me. Yeah, squint. Close your eyes. Okay, so it's really the crow's feet, the glabella, and a little bit across the forehead. And then as far as your cheeks go, according to the Palmer Code, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, you know, a number that's 100. That's the most attractive you could possibly be. Huh? I would that's what like you that. want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's strive for that. So what I'm looking at are really cheeks. You have cheeks, but I'd like them to be a little bit more angular. If you get an angular cheek on a man, a little bit narrow, going the same way, the same direction as the jaw, then what happens is you set up this angularity that we're looking for. You can do it a bunch of different ways. Cheek implants work great, but nothing beats a filler. You come in, boom, 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 put a little perlane in. I like perlane here because it's softer, flows nicely. Radius works good, a little lumpy. So if someone comes in, they got a red carpet event tonight, you're going to red carpet tonight, put it in, boom, 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 you can go. A radius, it's really two or three days where you're out and you can't really do okay. that. Okay. For the jaw, however, what I like is I like to mimic that masseter muscle that's very prominent here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. And what happens is someone looks at you from the front, it automatically sets up a widening and angularity to your right. jaw. For that, I like radius. It'll last about a year. I'm going to mimic that by drawing on and, and putting it in, in exactly the right place. Here's the thing, whether it's a toxin, whether it's Botox, whether it's perlane, resting in your lips, whatever it is, there's no inherent magic in any of these fillers. The magic is here, here, and here. I put it the right amount, the right filler, in the right place according to the Palmer Code to create this flared angularity, that's it. If that's it, it works, if that's not it, not so much. Perfect, okay? I'm excited. All right, so this will just take a few minutes, I'm gonna get everything prepped. I'll go ahead and make the marks. We'll do this stuff. Everything's mixed with lidocaine or this local anesthetic, so it really is very well tolerated. Okay. All right? Perfect. Good deal? Thank you. Yeah, All right, I'm buddy. Excited. This is a great look for your mandible, the angle, angle of your jaw right here, and also for your cheeks. So what we do is we add some numbing solution to the um, radius. These are the uh, injectables that we're going to do for John today. They're temporary injectables. These are the Botox that's going to go in his forehead, in his glabella, which is the lines between the eyes and on his crow's feet. These are the radius, which we're going to inject into the mandibular angle, which is the jaw line to give him that square bat Brad Pitt kind of jaw. And these are perlane, which we're going to put into the cheeks and give him kind of an angular cheek so that he uh, has some angularity to his face. No discomfort at all. I was expecting a lot worse, and after he's done, I'm like, wow, that's it. Oh, oh my God, that looks amazing. Yeah, see how nice and wow. angular everything is? You see your, your cheek is just narrow but more prominent, and the jaw sticks out. That looks, all bone looks amazing. Yeah, the the cheeks look amazing. What a, it's amazing, wow. All within minutes, yeah. you know, and no pain. 
Okay, John, so we're going to do some Botox to your forehead and your glabella and your crow's feet. Let me see, lift up your forehead. Okay, squint real, okay, and then smile. Okay, so what we do is we don't eliminate the crow's feet completely because the natural look of someone when they smile is to have some kind of crease, but we can definitely soften that. So you don't want them to completely go away, otherwise you have that plastic kind of smiley look that's right. really artificial. So we're gonna soften these, we're gonna uh, try to soften the, the glabella, we'll pretty much eliminate that, and then the lines in the forehead. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the forehead. And, okay. All right, so squint for me. Okay, relax. Little stick. Okay, good job. How you doing? Good. Not too bad, huh? Mm -mm. So, hang on. Good job. It's going to be right here. Your jaw is going to be a little um, swollen today, but by tomorrow you should look amazing. You already look amazing right now. Thank you. I'm right? happy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Good. All right. <laughs> Looks good. You look really great, John. Perfect. Thank you.